this one. Must weigh at least a pound. Sure, easy. Hey, hey! Looks like more snow! Yeah, it looks that way. We could be in for a real storm. Yeah! Better hurry if we want to get to town before it starts. Why are you going into batter school for the whole weekend, Hank? Well, a man's got to get into town every four or five months. Let off a little steam. You got a girl in town? Hey, girl. Seventeen. <laughs> Seventeen? You're kidding. No, I'm not. I got 17 girls. They're all crazy about me. <laughs> Uncle. <laughs> Say, Uncle. Okay, okay. I do. <laughs> okay, come on. I got to get going anyway. Keep them in the kitchen. They'll smell up the whole house. Yes, sir. We're having them for supper tonight. David, take off your boots, please. And turn the radio off. Yes, sir. Well, I'll be on my way. Be back in a couple of days. I've got to pick up some things in town for the farm. What do you have to get? Well, for one thing, I'd like to get a new wheel for the tractor. Can't that wait till next spring? Well, it could, but I'd hate to be without it in case we need it. All right. Well. Hank. Yes, ma'am. Thank you again for our radio. It was the nicest Christmas present you could have thought of. I'm glad you liked it. Anything I can get for you in Batterskill? No, nothing I can think of. Fred? No, thank you, Hank. Well, so long, everybody. Bye. Have a good time. Bye, Hank. Thanks again for my 22. <laughs> That's okay. When I come back, we'll go hunting. Okay. Fred, why didn't you thank Hank for our radio? He didn't get it for me. He certainly did. He got it for both of us. I know who he got it for. Fred. Do you think I'm a child, Elizabeth? Do you think I don't know why he stayed on here for two years? Fred, please. I know what I'm talking about. David, you're in this godforsaken country because of me, son. If my health improves, I'll see you get out of here. I know this new book of mine will be sold. I'm going to be able to take you and your mother. Big enough to get this car through? Why? Answer me. No, there isn't. Mother? Yes? Someone's coming. They came in a car and drove right up to our barn. And a man was 
someone's going to hit me. Charlie. Hello, Liz. Surprised to see me? Yes, I, I am. You're looking good. <gasps> Thank you. So are you. Hi, Davy. Fine, sir. Anybody else with you? Fred's in the living room. Nobody else staying with you? We have a hired man. Why? Where is he? He's gone for a couple of days. What's the matter, Charlie? I've been shot. Oh, that's nothing, just a graze. I was lucky. It's my leg that's giving me the trouble. You see? Hello, Fred. Where did you come from? What's happened to you? Uh, I've been shot. The bullet's still in there. Shot? Well, how did you get shot? You'll never learn, will you, Charlie? I'll call a doctor. No, I don't need any doctor, Fred. I, all I need is a little rest. I'll be all right. Don't be childish. You should have a doctor. Who are these people? Well, that's Benji and that's Edna. You look as though you had a fever, and I'm calling a doctor. Now, look, I, I don't want any doctor! Told you not to phone, Fred. Next time, listen to me when I tell you something. We're going to be here till morning until I'm given the orders. Let me go. Let me go. David, take the milk to the cooler. Yes, sir. You gotta get it through your head, Fred. I'm no kid brother anymore! What's the idea, Charlie? What are you trying oh, to don't do? Don't you start chewing on me, Liz. It wasn't my fault. Listen, you got a room I can use. You can use mine. Where are you taking that? Taking it with me. Any objections? No, just asking you. All right. I want you to stay down here. I don't want nobody coming in, nobody going out. You understand? Okay. Both of you get some sleep. I want to pull out first thing in the morning. Thanks. In there. I want to know what happened, Charlie. I don't want to talk about it now, Liz. Charlie! Oh, play off, will you? Can't you see my leg is killing me? Shot. Later, we'll get settled up there. Only got half a bottle. Half a bottle? Uh -huh. Pig! Man, it 
does your old man have anything to drink in the house? You mean booze? Yeah. No, he never drinks anything like that. Oh, it must run in the family. And you were surprised to see your Uncle Charlie, weren't you? Yes. How do you know he's my uncle? Is he really? What he told me. How was he shot? Was he hunting? Yeah. Hey, how old are you, kid? Twelve. Almost. That coat, it's mink, isn't it? Yeah. You like it? Yes, sir. Must have cost two or three hundred dollars. <laughs> you hit it right on the nose, kid. Wait till you grow up, kid. You'll find out. Is that man really my uncle? Yes. He's your uncle. I'll go up and see how his leg is. No, you stay down here. I don't want you upstairs. Why? Because I don't want you up there. Yes, sir. Whose guns are those? Twenty-two's mine. The other two are my father's. Cut that tree down myself, up on the mountain. Yeah, just like Radio City Music Hall. Smell it. It smells good. It smells like a tree. Hey, Liz. Hey, Liz, my leg started hurting real bad. The bullet's gonna have to come out. Liz, you're the only one here I trust to do it. What's that for? For Max. Max, who's that? My dog. Dog? I didn't see no dog around here. It's dead. Fred! What do you want? The bullet has to be removed from Charlie's leg. Will you help me? Let him get a doctor. You know he can't. He's in terrible pain. Are you going to help me? No. Kid, get me a couple glasses. David, if you want any glasses, get them yourself. They're in there. David, you're not to do any errands for him. Yes, sir. Take this upstairs. What are you doing? It's for your friend. It's the only painkiller we've got around here. I don't want any drinking in this house. What are we going to drink, in the barn? Give me that. <coughs> Come on, try it. <coughs> hey, Liz, you remember the first time I met you on the beach? Yeah, that little red bathing suit, huh? Remember? Stop it, Jeff. David, get the lamp off the bureau so I can see. Infected, Charlie. Are you sure you trust me to do it? Oh, I told you I did. Now, come on, Liz. If you're gonna do it, do it. I've never done anything like this before. All right, so you haven't. I can do it myself. Dave, bring the lamp around here. Now, if you feel sick or anything, tell me. Just don't back up or drop the lamp. Understand? Okay. I think you better take this, Charlie. I don't want it. It's going to hurt. I told you I don't want it. Come on.
David. You can put the lamp back now. Yes, sir. What is that? I like a little water. I'll get it and take this with you. Did you break the bone? No. It was in the flesh. You got more lives than a cat, Charlie. If you hit the bone, you'll be going nowhere. Will you take this with you, please? Me? Yeah, you. Okay. Charlie. Yeah. Now will you tell me what happened? I don't want to talk about it now. I'm sorry. I want to talk about it now. I have to... Thank you, David. Here is a bulletin. A robbery in Batterskill. The first in this area in eight years. Hey, Charlie! The first national bank of Batterskill was held up and robbed of $85,000. A police officer was killed. One member of the gang, who goes by the name Sam Carney, was critically wounded and captured by the police. He's not expected to live. The other three criminals driving a tan Plymouth sedan are believed to be heading south. One of them was shot in the leg. Highway patrols are alerted to be on the lookout. Well, there seems to be no tax relief. I'm no killer, Davy. Charlie. Charlie, you think, think Sam would talk? Nah, he'd want Edna to get away. Yeah. Yeah, well, we fooled them. They think we're heading south. Yeah. My luck's holding out. Yeah. Charlie, why did you come here? Well, I planned on coming here from the first. I won't lie about that. I forgot about the kid. I really forgot about him. I forgot all about him, Lisa. It's just like you. You'll never change. Not one bit oh, will you change. Oh, come on, David, would you go on up? Please, like a good fella. Stay here, David. David, go on out. And close the door, will you? No, you haven't changed. Do you know what this is going to mean in a one-horse town like this? Oh, I'm sorry, Liz. I'm sorry. I know. You're always sorry. You were sorry about me. You were sorry about David. You were sorry you were married. You can't go on always thinking that being sorry will help everything. What about your wife? She left me four years ago. And she had more sense than I gave her credit for. Who's the girl downstairs, your girl? My, oh, she's nothing. When I saw you come in and walk over to the couch, I thought, I felt like years ago. Now I wouldn't let you touch okay, me. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're I'm always sorry. sorry. Is that all you can say? It's not just David and me. There's a man dead. Maybe two by now, and all you can say is you're sorry. Oh, you shut up and listen to me. I didn't plan on hurting anybody. N not you, not the kid, not Fred. And I didn't plan on anybody getting killed. I just figured the robbery and coming here, that's all. Do you know what they're going to do to you? They'll kill you. They'll electrocute you. You know that, don't you? Why did you do it? How can you kill a man and lie there as calm as if nothing happened? How could you? Oh, shut up. I didn't kill anybody. I get that straight. My gun's right over there in the jacket. Go and take a look at it. Hasn't been fired. I don't know who did kill that cop. I, I didn't. And I'm not getting caught. I get that straight. If I kill ten men, I'm not getting caught. Give him that once over, Buster. And I think you get a sweet on you. Oh, don't you let him kid you, Dave. Are you an actress? Are you an actress? That's the best yet. That's so <laughs> comical. You know, I could be singing and dancing right this minute if I wanted to. Any place in New York City? Do as you act. Now let's have a nightclub. Okay. Would you like that, Davey? Sure. Okay. Presenting the one and only Edna Rogers. Yay! The girl with the golden voice and the classy chassis. Mm -hmm. For me and my true love will never meet again on the funny, funny banks of Loch Lomond. You take the high road. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in Scotland for you. For me and my true love will never meet again on the funny, funny banks of Loch Lomond. 
for me and my true love will never be the general store of You can get a job singing and dancing in a freak show. You creep, you. You're the lousiest creep I ever met. They ought to put you away someplace because you're so crazy. Shut that hole! Oh, when they get you this time, my little creepy friend, they will either kill you or put you away in a nut house where you can't hurt nobody never again. That's where you belong, Benji. In a nut house. <laughs> Shut up. I key with my bare hands. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Get out of here. All of you. Get out of here. Get out of this house right now. Tonight. I'm telling you to get out of here. Leave my father alone. Leave my father alone. He's sick. Uh, take it easy, champ. You cough up a lung. There ain't no keys, champ. Yeah, simple it is. You don't need no keys. Uncle Charlie! Uncle Charlie! I told you to leave him alone! You crazy fool, what'd you do? I didn't do nothing. What do you mean nothing? Look at the place. Well, he, he, he started for the gun. He tried to, try to run us out, Charlie. Don't you raise your hand, you hear me? Let go of me, Charlie, let go! Let me go! You hear me? Hey, yeah, Charlie! All right, now, get up. Go out and get a broom and clean it up. Get away from me. I don't need your help. Everything's all right. David, come up to bed. No. You stay right here, David. And you stay right there where you belong. You're a good pair, the two of you. Just alike. There's no shame in either of you. It's just like old times, isn't it, Charlie? If you want to take it, just get out of Don't here. Don't get all worked up, Fred. Go back, Elizabeth. Go back. Go back. <coughs> You're nothing but a bum, Charlie. You'll end up in the gutter just like Papa, a thieving, murdering bum. You'll end up just like I told Mama I you would. I haven't seen you in years. Why must we always fight? Can we get along for a because minute? Because you're no good. Now get out of here and take the rest of them with you. Elizabeth, too. But she's not having David, not as long as I live. Way off face, Fred. Don't get so right. up. You think I won't turn you in, Charlie? If I get the chance, I will, so help me, I will. <laughs> Mother, what was Daddy talking about? Nothing, David. He's sick. He didn't mean those things. Come on, let's go to bed.
Charlie! All right, Benji. Put it back. I just want my share, Charlie, that's all. Next time I'll kill you. Now put it back. Okay. Come on. Now get out of here. Now get out. Thanks, Davy. That's okay. You better get back and get some sleep now. Okay. And Davy, don't worry about your gun. I'll send you another one. Good night, Uncle Charlie. Charlie, the kid says we can't make it out of here. Yeah, the kid's right. We gotta stay here till it clears up. Stay here? Oh, I'll take it easy, will you? Nobody knows we're here. Charlie, don't I'll you want to... I'll get us out of here in plenty of time. I'm lucky. I've not always been lucky. Yeah, but All don't right, you let me the... do the worrying, will you? Just go on downstairs like, like I told you to. Okay, how's your leg? Nothing for you to worry about. What are you doing here? I want to talk to Charlie. You said you were leaving this morning. How can we leave? Look outside. Charlie! Oh, come on. Use your head, will you? What do you expect me to do? Clear the roads? I want to get out of here more than you want us to. I brought you a clean shirt. What time is it? Time? High noon. Are we getting ready to leave? We're stuck. What do you mean? I mean, we're stuck. Look out the window. What are we going to do? Big shot said we got nothing to worry about. Him and his luck. I'd be glad to help. No, thank you. Anything, except wash the dishes on account of my nails. You know, you're a pretty nice looking dish. I'd like to see you sometime in a bikini. You put some lipstick on today, didn't you? Let your hair down. What's it you and Charlie used to be his girl? He did, didn't you? Don't touch me. Hi, right, Davy. Here's your breakfast, Uncle Charlie. Oh, thank you. How's your leg? Oh, much better, Davy. Thanks, much better. Say, do me a favor and get me my pen out of my coat pocket. Okay. Hey, not that pocket, Davy. The other one. That's right. Have you had your breakfast yet? No. Well, you sit down and eat these eggs. I, I don't want any. Okay. Charlie? Mm-hmm. You ever shoot at anybody with that gun? No. How do you like it, living up here in the mountains? Hmm? It's okay. Daddy doesn't like it. That's so? Is he still writing books? Sure. But he never makes any money. I had one book published about four years ago. Oh, Teddy, I didn't know that. Anything since? Nope. Has one sent away now. It says this one's gonna be a success. Yeah, your father was always a smart guy. I always had to look out for him, though. I was the younger, but I, I was tougher. I never let anybody pick on Fred. He'd always sit around the house reading, learning something. I just about worshipped Fred when we were kids. Mama did, too. He had the brains all right, your father.
did you learn to play that? Oh, I picked it up years ago. I wish I could play something like that. I'll teach you sometime, huh? Will you? Sure. How come you didn't come to visit us before, Uncle Charlie? Oh, I don't know. I've been away a lot, I guess. Why, did you miss me? I didn't even know you. Well, now you do. If you'd known me, would you have missed me, huh? Sure. You're a good kid. Thanks. So are you. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your dog? I don't have any dog. Yeah, but you had one. How did you know that? Oh, I don't know. I just figured all the kids in the country have dogs, don't they? I had one once. Someone sent me a puppy. Never knew who sent it, and I asked Daddy. He wouldn't answer at first. And then he said, just a friend. But he never liked the dog. Where's the dog now? What happened to it? When I came home from school one day, he had shot it. What'd he do that for? He said it was chasing and killing chickens. But Max never chased or killed any chickens. Well, I was sick for a week after that. Well, I sure was crazy about that dog. Hey, Davy, would you... Get me some more coffee, please, like a good fella. All right, Uncle Charlie. Do you want some coffee now, Fred? If I do, I'll get it myself. Hey, Davy. Good morning. David, your breakfast is on the stove. Oh, I've had breakfast. Uncle Charlie didn't want his eggs, so I ate him. You want some more coffee? All right, get it. You bring down those dirty dishes right away. I want to get things washed up. Thanks, Davey. I'll have some. Daddy, who was it sent me, Max? You tell him, Liz. You tell him, Liz. Tell him who sent him the dog. All right, Fred. I'll tell him. Your father sent you the dog, David. That's right, David. Your father. <laughs> Here's your coffee, Uncle Charlie. Oh, just put it up here. How soon you think that before they have the roads clear down below? Oh, I don't know. Listen, if I needed your help, would you help me, Davy? Well, you're going out, David. I want to talk to Charlie alone. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I like your hair this way, Liz. It's the way you used to have it, isn't it? You and your friends have got to get out of here, Charlie. Yeah, but we're going when we're good and ready. That's when. What about us? Have you ever in your entire life thought about anyone except yourself? What do you mean? Who was I thinking about when I plunked down the payment for this farm so Fred could have a nice, healthy climate and write his books and become a big shot genius and pay me back, maybe? I suppose I was thinking about myself, huh? That was an agreement you had with Fred. Agreement? There was no agreement. It was just that I thought of you and, and the kid and him. All my life I thought of him. Is that why you used him when you needed him? What do you mean, you used him? It was his idea to marry you. He always wanted you. And as far as that's concerned, it's your fault as much as anybody, the kid and everything. I was honest with you right from the start. That's right. And you paid us off, and your conscience too, for a few thousand dollars. David, me, and Fred. You don't owe us anything, and we don't owe you anything. But if you were a man and you had any conscience left, you'd think of David and me. No, I... I thought of you, Liz. I thought of you a whole lot. All the way up here, Liz, I was thinking about you. And how you were when I first met you, when you first come to the city. You were just a kid. Just a, a real kid. You were the prettiest thing I'd ever seen. Hey, remember that, that time on the pier when that poor guy you thought was me and you pushed him in the water? <laughs> 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 oh, I haven't laughed like this in so long. You remember the 
first time I ever took you out, Liz. Yes. I thought about that a lot of times, a lot of times. You haven't changed much since then, Liz. Oh, yes, I have, no, Charlie. You're just as pretty now as you were then. Come here, Liz. Don't, Charlie. Please, don't, Charlie. Please, Charlie. Just like long ago, isn't it? When all I had to do was whistle. Shut up! Isn't it? Isn't it? Let me go! Let me go! You, you remember, Liz. All I had to do was whistle. Fred was right about you, Charlie. You're nothing but a bum, and you'll end up right where you belong. I hope they catch you, and I hope they kill you, Charlie! Come here a minute, Davy. Now, look, this is where we came in, right? Yes. And over here, that's the state highway going north, right? Yes. But what's in between? That mountain there. It's called Lone Pine Peak. Well, looks like only a few miles on the map. It is, but you have to go over the mountain, and there's no road or anything. Well, how far is it to the highway? Well, I'm not sure exactly. Well, over 15 miles, maybe. Have you ever gone over it? The peak? Yeah. Sure, but not in weather like this. Uncle Charlie. Yeah? Look what I found. What's that? It's the bill of sale that came with my dog. Look, it says, Purchaser, Charles Blake. Isn't that your name? Yeah. Well, then, why did Daddy just say he sent for the dog when he didn't? Oh, did he say that? Sure. Mother said, your father sent it. And he said, that's right, your father. And then he laughed. Well, I, I don't know, Dave. It was a long time ago. Maybe I bought it for him or something. You know, I'm getting kind of hungry now. You want to get me a little chow? OK. I'll take down your dirty dishes. OK. And then uh, don't be long. I want to talk to you. OK. to the house. Get everybody in the living room. Come on. Come on. Come on. In the living room. In the living room. Hurry up. In the living room. Come on, Fred. Go ahead. Let's go. Come on. Not her. Not her. Go ahead. In there. Now, Liz. What? I want you to get rid of them. Now, you better get rid of them, Liz. Benji's in there with Davy. Benji's got a gun. Don't give him an excuse to use it. He'd like nothing better. Now, go and see if you can tell her who it is. Go on. Man. Okay, get rid of him. Suppose I can't. Suppose he's back to stay. Then you may be needing the new hired man. I'm telling you. Hello. Hello, Hank. <laughs> you surprised to see me? Yes. What are you doing back so soon? <laughs> I didn't get any farther yesterday than Will Evans' place. The postman left these at Will's for Fred. He couldn't make it up here yesterday. So Will hailed me and asked me if I'd bring him up to Fred, and I said that I would. And I stopped in for a drink. One drink led to another, and then another, and then the storm started, and Will persuaded me to stay overnight. I couldn't get the Jeep through this morning. That wind, it's fierce. Drifts 10, 12 feet high. It's the longest two miles I ever walked. Did I have a cup of coffee? All right. <laughs> I can get it. Who's your company? Why? 
Well, I see you got a plate full of cigarette butts. Fred doesn't smoke, and I know you don't. But... Oh. Ed Harris stopped by last evening. <laughs> He's from Fred's publisher. I figured he'd be anxious for him. Oh, thank you. Where's Fred? In bed. He wasn't feeling so good today. Where's David? He's upstairs. He's got a cold. Well, maybe I'll just go up and say hello. I was just there. He's asleep. Hank. Liz, I'm going to say something to you. Please, Hank. What are you doing to yourself? A real woman like you withering away. What are you getting out of life? Be quiet. What are you paying penance for? When are you going to stop punishing Hank, yourself? Hank, what are you talking about? You don't know what you're saying. I know what I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you and Fred. How dare you? And David. What about him? Hank. What do you think this ugly life here is doing for him? Hank! He gets no love, no affection. Not from Fred. Not from you. How dare you talk to me like this? I'm a good mother. A very good mother. Sure, you sew on his buttons. You fix his meals. Well, when do you put your arms around him? When do you kiss him? You don't know what you're talking about. You're drunk. You don't know what you're saying. Oh, I, I know what I'm saying. I want you to stop wasting your life like this. You Hank, deserve you something better, this? you and David. I want you to leave, Hank, right now, right this minute. You've got to listen to me. I'm not talking for myself. Get back. It's for Get you back. and David. Please, Liz, believe me. Hank, please, you've got to go. I could be a good father to that boy, Liz. Brought you some mail by Fred. Well, I, I promised Will I'd come back and keep him company until the road's cleared. So I. Excuse me. Mail's there on the table, friend. I'll see you in a couple of days. I'm sorry. Hey, Benji, let the kid go. Okay, kid, back in the kitchen. You hear me? I don't want to. Hey, Charlie, think he's wise? No, I don't. You did a real good job, Liz. This is from that publisher. Don't you want to read it? Yeah, David told me you had a book published a few years ago. I was very happy to hear about it, Fred. None of your manuscripts merits publication and that your revisions have been a waste of your time. Give me that. <laughs> Daddy, don't! Go away, Dave. I don't. Hey, Fred, don't, don't do that. Leave Fred. me alone, Charlie. I'm going to no. burn every last one of them. They're no good. They never have been any good. <laughs> hey, Fred, don't. don't. Fred. Would you? Uh. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Shut up! Uh. 
Boo-hoo! Again, I'll bash you with this. Bashy. Stay there, stay where you are. Stay there. I'm not taking that stuff off you and no one. You give me your last thought, that big shot. You got us in the hole, you, you and your big deals. Put the gun down, Benji. Why? I could shoot up the whole bunch of you. We're going to get caught anyway. Get back here! David! Stay there, Liz. Get your gun, pick it up. Hurry up! Yeah. Put it away. David! He's all right, Liz. He's not hurt. Will you please go on downstairs? Leave him with me a minute, will you please? Come on. Just a minute. All right. Benji, you're stupid. You're so what are you stupid. trying to listen, you big brain? Suppose we can't go back the way we came in. How do we get out of here? I don't know how. Over that mountain out there. You know your way over it? No, but the kid, he could take us over that mountain. Yeah. Okay, now go on downstairs. Okay, Charlie. I want you to forget what uh, Benji did. Huh? He's scared, Dave. He's scared stiff. And he's a little... You, you got to be careful with him. Will you try and forget it, huh? Okay. Why do you keep him around? Do you like him? Nobody likes Benji, but... I need him, Dave. He, he does what I tell him to. Hey, Davey, here. I want you to have this. It's always brought me luck. What'll you do? Oh, I'll, I'll get another one. Why don't you lie down and rest a bit, the kid? Are you going to? Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. How do you feel, Uncle Charlie? Not too hard, kid. Not too hard. Everybody asleep. I called twice. Oh, don't it smell good? Everything's ready, Charlie. I got a wonderful supper. Oh, good. I love to cook. You know I can cook, honey. So you can cook? So shut up. Drop dead. Hey, what are you doing? I can't drink my milk straight. Hi, honey. I made a wonderful supper. You don't gotta do a thing. Thanks. Very kind of you, it. Oh, think nothing of it. You know, us girls have got to stick together. Uh, did you get a good rest? Yes, thanks. Well, that's nice. Now, you just sit down at the table, and I'll wait on you for a change. Thanks, but I'm going to eat in my room. David, you'll have to eat upstairs with me. Yes, and you fix us two plates, and I'll take this one into your father. I brought your supper. Fred, believe me. I was so sorry about this afternoon. Hank was drunk. He didn't mean all those things. He was so drunk he didn't know what he was saying. Hank was right, Elizabeth. Oh, Fred. There's no happiness here for you or me or David. Fred. None. When I married you, I thought I was being noble, providing a home for you and David but I was only thinking of myself because I wanted you. I thought you'd love me after a while. That you'd forget about Charlie. No, I, I did the best I could. I never told you I loved you, Fred. I made the best home for you I could. That's not what I want, Liz. I want you. Do you understand, Liz? I want you to love me the way you love Charlie. 
can't I can't. Come on, David. About time for the seven o'clock news. How does it taste? Good, huh? Here's the latest news compiled from all leading Did you put in a fight, Liza? I hope Three it kills you. It could kill a whole bunch of it. Now, look, we don't want enough to kill you. Davis are still at large. Two men, one of them wounded, and a woman are traveling in a tan Plymouth sedan. A fourth member of the gang, wounded and captured by police, died during the night. Latest clues now make it certain the robbers are hiding near here, trapped by heavy snows between the Batterskill Highway and the mountains. Snow plows will be working all night so the police can begin their search of neighboring areas. Everyone is urged to report any suspicious characters to police immediately. Have your friends been avoiding you lately? A short Charlie. telephone stopped ring. So you think we ought to get the kid and clear out now? They got the snow plows working. What's that to keep them from getting here tonight? We're not going out in the dark and get lost on any lousy mountain. We're going to stay right here until it's light. Charlie, but now don't look, you... if you want out, get your coat and get going. If you're staying, you're doing exactly like I say. Okay. Have you asked the kid if he'll take us yet? No, but he'll take us. I suppose he won't. How do you know? I know. Charlie doesn't seem like a bank robber to me. I like him. What have you and your Uncle Charlie been talking about? Nothing much. I want you to stay away from him, David. He's no good and he never has been any good. Yes, and If you were older, David, I could tell you a lot about your Uncle Charlie. I could tell you what his word is worth. Yes, and David? Yes, and Sometimes when you're young, well, you do things you shouldn't. Things that you're ashamed of later on. And then you have to pay for these things. Maybe all your life. Yes. I just want you to stay away from him. That's all. Yes, and promise me? I promise. Sit down over here, Davey, where it's warm. It stopped snowing, and I gotta get out of here as soon as it's light. Listen to that wind, Uncle Charlie. It's gonna make terrible drifts. The roads will be worse than ever. I don't care about the roads to the mountain. I want you to take me and Edna and Benji over that mountain, Davey. I gotta get out of here. The cops will be here today for sure. Two men were killed. I didn't kill them, Davey. I didn't. You shouldn't have stolen, Uncle Charlie. You shouldn't have stolen oh, listen, the money. Son, you don't, don't always get a chance in this life to do what you should. Have, have you ever gone hungry? No. Have you ever seen your mother go hungry? No. Well, I have. We didn't have money for, for, for rent, for clothes, for heat, for, for food. I, I broke into a grocery store one night. A couple of cops saw me going in. They came in after me. And there was some money in the cash register. And they took it. And when we got in front of the judge, they said I had taken the money and gotten rid of it somehow. And the judge wouldn't believe anything I told him. They sent me to reform school for six months. And when I got out, I, I got me a job for 14 bucks a week. One of those cops came around and said I had to give him four bucks a week or he'd see that I got sent back to reform school. So I, I gave it to him for a couple of weeks. Then I said, I, I wouldn't, and he framed me, and I got sent back to reform school. And every time I got out, it was the same thing. But they never gave me a chance to go straight. I'm sorry, Uncle Charlie. I didn't know that. But anyway... Here I am with the money to get out of the country and get a new start in life, and the cops looking for me everywhere, waiting to kill me, and a kid I thought liked me, refusing to show me the way over some lousy mountain. I do like you, and I don't want to see you killed, but... Then help me, then help me. I can't. Look, please, Davey, please, I'll, I'll never forget you. If you help me, I, I promise I'll make it up to you. I just can't. Why? I made a promise to Mother. Davey, listen, I, I saved your life today. Benji would have killed you. 
You brought him here, Uncle Charlie. I'm sorry. I can't go. Where's the dough? Right here. Come on, Edna. I'll have to put on your snowshoes. I'll take it. All right, Come on. let's go. Come on. These are snowshoes. Those things. How do you walk in them? You just walk in them. What's happening, Charlie? We gotta get out of here, Liz. Fred's gone for the police. Fred's gone out in the snow. He couldn't have. Well, he has. David. Where are you going? He's taking us over the mountain, Liz. David, don't you dare! You stay right here! Charlie, you know you can't get over it in the snow. Don't you have any sense at all? He doesn't know anything. He's just a boy. Do you have any idea how far it is over that mountain? Did you see the drifts outside today? It's worse up there. If you want to go, go. But don't take him with you, Charlie. Now, listen to me, Liz. We're going, and David's already agreed to show us the way. Isn't that right, David? Isn't that right? Yes, that's right. David, don't move! Charlie! Charlie's just a child! You aren't taking him! He'll tell you what to do, but he, he doesn't have to go with you. David, don't you understand? They're, try, they're trying to use you. None of them are any good. They, they're no good. They'll just take you and use you and try and kill you afterward. I've got to go, Mother. I'll be all right. Edna, take the boy and wait at the barn. Go ahead, Davy. David! David, come back! David! David, come back! Charlie! Don't you have any decency, Charlie? Get that rope over there. Yeah, right. Hurry. It's your own flesh and blood, Charlie, if you take him. Hurry up. Where you're yes, going. Stop. Okay. Let's yeah. go. Okay, Charlie. Uh, look, Liz, we don't want to do this, but we can't help it. Well, what are we doing? Wait a minute, will you? Hey, Davy. Charlie, hurry up! Shut up! Hey, Davy, we had to tie your mother up. We didn't hurt her, Davy. We had a daughter. She, she would have tried to follow us, you see? But there'll be people here soon enough to let her loose. Which way, Davy? Up there. I don't know if she can make it. There's an easier way, down about a mile. All right, let's get going. Hey, Charlie. Want me to carry the dough for you? I got it. I just want to make it easier for you. Come on. Do that. 
that, Edna. You're gonna need that sweater. It's gonna get awful cold I'm later. I'm too hot with all this stuff on. I'm dying. It'd be easier on you if you left the fur coat behind. Mm. You wouldn't get so tired then. It took me ten years to get this coat kit, and it's going where I'm going. If this is left behind, I'm gonna be in it. wear this coat anymore. I can't even carry it. It's too heavy. Carry it for me, Benji. Why don't you bury it? Put yourself in it. I hate you. I hate you, you creep. I hate you. You mean I... Charlie. See if you can walk on it, Edna. I can. It's broken. I can feel it. It's broken. You lousy creep. What do you want? this for? Are you leaving the money, you crazy? Come on, Come on, Charlie. Long you story. Gotta go. Come on, Dick. Charlie. Now, look, Dick. There's nothing we can do, kid. I, I feel just as sorry about it as you do, but there's just nothing we can do. Come on. No. No, Charlie. Don't leave me here, please. Charlie, Benji, I'll give you all my share of the money. You take it, Benji. Here. Please don't go. Don't leave me here. Oh, no. You gotta get a hold of yourself. There was no way to get to her. I know, but it... Say, Davy. They'll be after us. They'll find her. They'll find her. She'll be all right.
Fred. Fred. They just tell me, Louis, I, I got to fix it. Oh, I should have stayed behind with that lake. Let me do it for you, Uncle Charlie. Thank you. Something was wrong when I woke up this morning. Those shoes I kicked, I knew they weren't yours. And then I heard on the radio about the robbers. Hank, they've got David. They're headed for Long Pike Peak with him. And you've got to get him. I'm afraid they'll use him as a shield. All right, all right, don't worry. Elizabeth, Fred's dead. Oh. I found him in the snow. He must have started for help. I'll call Evans. Have somebody come over and stay with him. You can't. They yanked the phone off the wall. You go get him, I'll be all right. How long have they been gone? About three hours. Hey, please be careful. They're killers. I'll be careful. Hey, get him. Please don't let them hurt him. Yeah, that's much better. Uncle Charlie. Yeah? When you get off this mountain, what are you going to do? Well, first thing is to get a car. Why? I want to go with you. Go with me? You must have rocks in your head. I want to. Get some sense, will you, Davy? Look, kid, I'm happy you want to go with me, but you can't. You're just talking kid stuff. I'm not a kid. If I can take you over this mountain, I'm not a kid. All right, you're not a kid. You don't understand, Davy. I'll, I'll be running maybe the, the rest of my life. I don't care. I don't care. Because you don't know what it's like, Davy. Only somebody who runs knows. I couldn't that cop fell over. I should have started from scratch. I can say it was smart to come here, but that don't make it so. It was dumb. It was stupid. <laughs> Oh, now, look, Davy, you're just, you're just tired and keyed up. Someday you'll thank me. You'll say you... Who do you think you are, Charlie? Look what you've done. You scared baby boy. He's bawling. Boo -hoo -hoo. Go, Davy. Hey, Davy, go. Lazy, help me. I'll kill you. Lazy. Lazy, got the kill. Hey, Stay there. Oh. I got news for you, big shot. You ain't kill nobody. You're all finished. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't doing nothing from here on out. Stay there. I'm gonna kill you now, big shot. Look at me. Look at me! You put a nasty hole right in the middle of that precious face of yours. If you do, the kid won't take you over the mountain. You can't get out of this place alone. Shut up. Ask him. Ask him. Even with a gun, you can't make him do it. How are you going to get over the mountain? You can't even walk. I'll walk. Come on, Davy. Help me up. What's that? The snow plows clearing the roads off the mountain. How far away are they? A couple of miles below the Evans farm. Hurry it up. Hurry it up!
Charlie. I, I gotta stop for a while, dear. I'll try to slow down. Oh, Charlie, listen to me. We gotta do something quick, because just over the... What's going on? Nothing. It's no plaza coming closer. Come on. We can't. Gotta stop for a while. Can't you see he's all tired out? That's too bad. He stays here. Give me that. Get moving. I'm not going. You're going. And it better be the right way. Go on. No, don't go. Don't leave. Davey. Davey. Keep moving. Davey. Move it. Davey. Davey. Back. I take it back here. Come back here. I'll take it with me, Dave. I'll take you in with me. Listen to me. Just don't leave me, Dave. Uncle Charlie, listen to me. I'll take you in with me, Dave. I'll take Uncle you in with me. Uncle Charlie, will you listen to me? me Dave, we got to think of something awful quick. Because just over the crest, you can see the highway. You... Dave, you got to stall him, Dave. You got to stall him. If he sees the highway, he'll kill us. If I can get my hands on him, Dave. I'm going to get you for this kid. Don't you forget it. Benji. You gotta uh, lean on you. You gotta help me. Crawl on your hands and knees. Up there. Up there. What are you doing? Snowshoes loose. I gotta fix it. You fix it when we get there. What's that over there? Just a shack. Anybody live there? No. Nobody stays there in winter. Top. We have to. There's a drop up there. Yeah, we just have a look at it. Up there. Up, up. That's it, Charlie. That's it, big shot. What do you say now? Where's your luck now? Why don't you beg? Maybe I'll let you go. Can't you talk? Why can't you talk? Because you're stupid. You're stupid, not me. I'm gonna kill you now. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna... Ah! Ah! Choke your string. Give me that. Give me that.
fault, Davy. No, it wasn't your fault, Davy. You had to do it. Benji would have killed us both if you hadn't shot him. I know that. But I never wanted to kill anybody. Never. Oh, Davy, I, I, I'm sorry, boy. I'm sorry. Hey, the snow plaza. Getting real close. Uh, how's your leg, Uncle Charlie? Well, I don't know. It's kind of numb. Are you... Are you ready, Davy? Uh-huh. What's the matter? I can't make it. I just can't make it. I think one of my ribs is broken. Oh, sure you can make it, Davy. It's... Listen, it's downhill all the way from here. We'll get a car as soon as we get on the highway, Davy. Come on. I can't. You go on. Well, what about you? You freeze to death, Davy. No, I won't. I'll crawl over to the shack. I'll be warm there. I'll, I'll take you. No, you've got to go. Gonna be okay here all, all alone, Davy. Sure. Uh, after you get a good start, I'll build a fire. Somebody's bound to see the smoke. Now, now you get going. Good luck, Davy. Let me hear from you sometime. Well, goodbye, Davy. Goodbye, Uncle Charlie. Upset. He's bitter against everybody because of what's happened to you. I think he hates me too. It's not right, Charlie. He doesn't understand. He's still just a boy. He loves me. He 
looks up to me. At least I've got somebody. Something. Hello, Uncle Charlie. Charlie. Okay. I, I want to tell you, I I'm sorry you, you had to take me to the shack. I, I wished you hadn't. I, I tried to call you. I, I tried to warn you. That's all right, David. Uh, Uncle Charlie, hmm? you remember about Max, my dog? You gave him to me, didn't you? Davy, I... I gotta tell you something. Davy, I, I, I had this coming to me. I, I lied to you, Davy. All that stuff about the cops framing me it wasn't true, Davy. They gave me every break they could. I, I just didn't take it. You understand, Davy? I'm no good. You understand? Your Uncle Charlie's a bum. Just a bum. He, it was you who gave me Max, wasn't it? Don't forget me, Dick. It was you, wasn't it? Don't ever forget me, Dick. I won't. I won't ever forget you. 